Welcome to another exciting beauty video. In this video, I have a brand new launch from Patrick Star's beauty brand, One Size. He just launched the Butter Silk Concealer. I have a bunch of shades from them, so we're gonna try it out. We're gonna do a little bit of a wear test, and I'll let you guys know if it is worth picking up or not. If you've never seen me before, my name is Zoe. I work for Good Morning America and I post here on YouTube every single Wednesday brand new videos about beauty, fashion, wellness, fitness, and all those types of things. So if you like any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you've never seen me before, you probably don't know, but I'm obsessed with Patrick Star's beauty brand One Size. I have like a lot of his launches. Um, I just put on this primer to start out with. This is his... Um, secure the blur primer so i started out with this we're going to go ahead and go straight into the concealers i have a bunch of different shades i've never tried these out so this is a first impression along with a wear test these are all of the shades right here the packaging is super cute it's like his basic logo on the front in a pink carton and then it does have the shade name as well as the shade on the top so I think I'm going to use the lightest shade and then a shade close to my skin tone just to do like some highlights under my eyes and then um, conceal some of my acne. If you have never seen me before, once again, you won't know that I just finished Accutane. So my skin is on the dry side um, and I obviously have some acne scars that hopefully this concealer will cover up. Okay, I clipped back my hair and also brought you guys in a tiny bit closer so you can see everything that's going on. This is the before and I'm gonna go in with this shade Fair 4. Sorry, it's like really hard to focus because it's shiny. This is Fair 4, it's fair with golden undertones. This I think is the lightest shade that I have from them. And I'm gonna use this under my eyes and to highlight. So when you open up the carton, here's what it looks like. It has his signature red top. And then there's what the doe foot looks like. You could tell there's like a ton of product there on the top. And it does have that little indent so the product will stay. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is not sponsored by the way. I just love Patrick Star's brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this under my eyes. I'll do the little like TikTok method. I swear it doesn't work, but like whatever, we'll just try it where you like. Um, I'll do a little bit down my nose and then I'll also highlight up here. So that was just one dip. I got all of that. I'm gonna do a little bit more just for my chin. Probably won't need all of that. And just do a little bit here. Okay, so that's the lightest shade. And then I'm gonna try to find a shade to match my skin tone. Let's try this one. This is light three with neutral undertones. Here's what it looks like once again. And same standard, you get a ton. Like a ton comes out on this applicator. Okay, so then I'm gonna use this one just to, it's so close to the other one. I don't know if it's really gonna highlight much but I'm just gonna do this one on any of like my blemishes and my little spots that I wanna cover up. Okay, so then let's just go in with the Beauty Blender and we are just gonna bounce this out, starting on my chin. Oh yeah, this might dry down a little quick. I probably should have waited to do the other color. Here's what we're looking like blended out. I probably let it dry down a little too much. It definitely has some work time, but again, I was like talking and stuff and got carried away. I do want to just say um, like what this concealer claims to do. So this concealer is available at Sephora at onesizebeauty.com starting July 30th. It is the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. It retails for $25, which is slightly pricey for a concealer, but it seems like you get a decent amount of product. There's 24 shades and it says it's a 12 hour medium to full coverage with a soft matte finish. Claims to be waterproof, oil controlling. There's avocado and mango butters in it. There's also a peptide blend and caffeine. So it's supposed to be super hydrating and good for your skin, yada, 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 all those things. Also 12 hours, so right now it is 12.14. So we'll say like 12 p.m. Um, and so we're gonna wear it, I don't know, for maybe 12 hours, um, but I'm gonna check in throughout the day to see how it blends and how it wears. The only thing that I still have um, is this little spot here. So I'm gonna try to go in again and put a little dot of concealer there and see if we can get that covered. I am gonna put on a foundation over this, just a really, really light layer of foundation. 
and then use Patrick's um, powder. Yeah, so okay, so that's definitely buildable. If you can see that spot there is pretty much gone now. So definitely buildable, as it said, medium to full coverage. Honestly, like I probably don't even really need a foundation over this and I could just do like a powder or something. But cause I have some discoloration and stuff, I do wanna go in with a actual foundation. So I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna use my much loved, as you can tell, Beauty Blender foundation. This is their bounce foundation in the shade 2.2. I'm gonna use this and I'm also gonna use the translucent, translucent powder from one side. So I'm gonna use that, finish up my makeup and then be back with a full face. Here is the final look. I'm actually really, really happy with how my makeup turned out today. I just did a pretty neutral eye and a pink lip. Um, the concealer looks amazing. I did a tiny, tiny bit of the foundation over it, a little bronzer, a tiny bit of blush, but you could see like under my eye, it's just really, really smooth. Everything laid down super nicely. My forehead, like there's really not any creasing or anything. Here's what this side looks like. It looks amazing. I'm hoping it'll last throughout the day. I have to go into Manhattan, do some errands, run around, wear a mask. So I'm gonna do some check-ins with you guys throughout the day and then share my final thoughts at the very end. But so far, this is a great concealer. So far, we'll see. I'll see you guys soon. Checking in now, it is 5 p.m. So this has been on for five hours and I feel like you could not tell at all all if you can see like none of it is really creasing or anything i'm not oily at all and it almost looks like i just put it on my lipstick is another thing i gotta touch that up and i did get some of my chin here if you could see so i'll probably just touch that up i have another thing that i'm going to um in the city tonight so just want to touch up my lipstick and this little bit but other than that like underneath my eyes there's really no creasing it looks good it's the perfect color match these colors I literally just picked out online and I feel like they're pretty flexible. So yeah, um, this is a 10 out of 10 so far. I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night, like before I take off my makeup, but I love it. Okay, it is nighttime now. As you can tell, it is literally pitch black outside. Um, I put my light on so hopefully you guys can see my skin and stuff. This is how we are looking. I'm honestly really, really impressed. Um, I was wearing my mask when we went out, so you could probably see some of it just gone on my nose and like maybe on my chin. But for the most part, like underneath my eye, there's no crease. It looks so smooth, really soft. It has that soft matte finish and I'm very, very impressed. Um, I'm not oily or shiny at all. Uh, I'm not an oily person, but obviously after wearing makeup for, it's literally 11.30, so this has been on for 11 and a half hours some oil usually comes through so i'm very impressed that um i'm looking like totally smooth and it's really really lightweight so it hasn't felt like i've been wearing makeup that long like i do want to take off my makeup get ready for the end of the night but it doesn't feel heavy or anything on my skin so this is definitely going to go into my top drawer i'm going to be picking this up all the time if you guys have any questions about the product drop them in the comments down below as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means the world to me and i will see you guys in the next video